It's been a project the city's been pushing for years, getting drivers to slow down along two of Albuquerque's busiest streets. Now the newly installed traffic signals along Lead and Coal just west of I-25 are finally up and running. Here's News 13's George Gonzalez. A spokesperson for the city's Department of Municipal Development says this is a project that has been years in the making and while the signals here at Walter are getting drivers to come to a stop, the city says it's just one piece of the puzzle in getting drivers to slow down. These signals should be able to provide more traffic coming for the area and overall make the uh, letting go corridor safer right there uh, around the intersection of I-25. With both corridors set at 30 miles per hour, some drivers going through lead and coal today were still blowing past the limit. I live right here, so I hear people racing down the street all the time. There's accidents all the time. But Scott Silke with Albuquerque's Department of Municipal Development says the new traffic signal could soon start making a difference, especially when the city activates their smart technology. That technology called Rest on Red, forcing speeding drivers to slow down or come to a complete stop. As the vehicle approaches the signal, the signal is able to detect the vehicle and detect the speed that they are going at a safe distance to where um, the signal will be able either to present them with a green light or stay red so that they're forced to stop. The technology is not turned on just yet, but when it is, it will detect if the driver is going just one mile over the limit, triggering the sensor from a safe enough distance to get drivers to stop on red. But people who live near the busy corridor say it remains to be seen whether the traffic lights improve pedestrian safety. I've seen people run the lights already because they're not used to them. Um, so I'm still going to, you know, follow the same you know, rules for myself of, you know, just making sure that everything's clear, even though it says green. And Silky says that the city is considering other intersections along the lead and coal corridors to implement the smart technology. He says they are still determining which ones those will be. George Gonzalez, QRQ News 13. This is the city expects the rest on red signals to be activated this spring.